But, you know, I have to tell you, while that was all happening, you know, there was something else happening that was um, that was that was dramatic, but something that was equally amazing. I hung out in New York City with uh, Rihanna, my my wife, you know, I'm her gay husband. I hung out with Rihanna in New York City for the Savage Fenty 3 premiere with Amazon Prime. And I have to tell you, Damage Blue, it is my mission in life that I get us all in the same room. Just Oh, Damage, you've already met her. But Blue, so you can smell her, okay? I want to smell her. I want to smell her. She was there. But while this whole conversation was happening about people trying to take Hollywood on lockdown, my wife, Rihanna, gave Hollywood Unlocked an endorsement. <laughs> she gave Hollywood Unlocked an endorsement that I didn't even ask for. And this is why I love her so much. Take a look. Black media usually never gets invited to these events, but I know you always make sure they're included. Why is it always important to you to make sure you actually stop and speak with us? Because y'all speak to my people. I mean, if I want to speak to my people, I come to Hollywood Unlocked. I have to come to the black media because you guys have a, an audience that I respect, an audience that you're, they're huge fans of mine. I have a lot of fans that are uh, fans of yours. And it's kind of like stupid not to tap into the people that are your customers, the people that look up to you, and the people that keep your, your business and your brand what it is. Could that been have been even more of a better statement? I just know she was uh, good, man. Speaking of looking good, the optics of this, because you guys know I'm, I'm always about this women's empowerment stuff. One of the most highest paid, most marketable black women on planet Earth is on the carpet talking to a black woman who has been with Hollywood Unlocked since day one about how she wants to make sure that she's speaking directly to her community. Like, I, I need everybody to just sip on what just happened in that clip. Before we ever push the narrative that like, oh, you know, Jason Lee doesn't like black women or Karen Civil's for black women. Like you literally shut down a site that employs black people, including black women who you claim to be for. And it talks directly to the culture. So it's between you and Rihanna. I'm going to pick Rihanna. Sorry. Listen, Rih listen, Rihanna dropping that. Um, I didn't even know that she did that. But what I will say is that that is why I love the space that I'm in right now, because, you know, sometimes when the things like what happened with Karen happens, <clears throat> you get discouraged or you think that it's over or that nobody's going to see you. And then you see that the biggest, brightest stars actually see you and more importantly, see the relevance and importance of your platform. I thought was really important. And that's why I think Ebro and um, that guy were sleep at the wheel because clearly you're not seeing Hollywood unlocked the way a mega superstar does. 